take this opportunity to express my thanks and uh, I mean it to the Slovak presidency and personally uh, to Robert for continuing to deliver excellent uh, work in the Justice and the Home Affairs Council, as it was the case today, and to congratulate him to having steered these meetings in an excellent way, although I can tell you it was a marathon uh, council. It started early this morning. We had more than eight or nine topics on our agenda, but the outcome is positive. I personally believe that at the end of this uh, meeting, we have made altogether a step forward on all our issues. In this meeting, I also had the opportunity to introduce for the first time to the ministers uh, our new colleague, Julian King, the commissioner in charge of the security union. He is with us to support and reinforce our work on improving security in Europe. And I look forward to his contribution in that respect. But first, starting with migration, I think we can all agree that the situation is better compared to what it was last year, though the situation is still, yes, very fragile in Italy, in Greece and in Bulgaria, but also in other member states that have to deal with a high number of asylum applications, <coughs> irregular migrants to return and refugees to integrate. I welcome the commitment of all member states to deliver on their commitments. In the last few months, many member states have increased their efforts on relocation and resettlement, demonstrating what is possible if the political will is there. I encourage the ministers to continue delivering like this, and the Commission will continue supporting member states with all available means to further accelerate the implementation of the relocation and resettlement schemes, as well as the full implementation of the EU Turkey statement. The migration challenges, as you all understand, can not only be addressed within, inside Europe. We have to work and cooperate with our external partners. Today, we had a fruitful discussion on the migration partnership framework, which is a key element to reduce irregular migration flows and improve returns of irregular migrants. Today, we have not only discussed about the measures to address the immediate needs, but also how to build a more resilient European migration and asylum policy in order to face successfully future challenges. Progress has been reached on uh, the reform of Eurodac and to create a new European Asylum Agency. And I hope we can reach an agreement by the end of this year. Following the official launch, as Robert mentioned before, of the European Border and Coast Guard last week, we discussed the next steps to fully operationalize the new agency within the coming months. For this, I called on the Member States to be fully engaged to set up, for instance, the pool of experts. However, better managing our external borders in order to reduce irregular arrivals means also that we have to enhance pathways for people in need of protection to come legally to Europe. This is why we had, I would say, an intensive discussion on the EU resettlement framework. All these elements are interlinked and crucial building blocks of a sustainable and future-proof European migration and uh, asylum policy. Finally, managing our external border better is also essential 
to improve our security. The key element here is exchange of information. We all agree that we have to know who is crossing our, our external borders. For that, we already have proposals on the table for systematic checks of EU citizens at our external borders and for an EU entry-exit system. These changes to our border management are urgent to improve our security. The Member States and the European Parliament need to move fast, to move quickly and adopt them into law still this year. I have also informed the ministers that next month I will propose an EU travel information and authorization system similar to the United States well-known Europe, ESTA. So to conclude, as I said in the beginning, a fruitful Home Affairs Council meeting today and a full ambitious agenda for the months ahead. There is great willingness and commitment to continue moving forward. For me, this can only happen together in a spirit of solidarity and responsibility. I look forward to our important work in the weeks and months ahead. And once again, I would like to, thank, to express my thanks to Robert for the excellent job he has done as President of this Council. Thank you.